Hi, my name is Byron Martin here at Logie's Greenhouses and today we're going to be talking about a fruiting tree from Central America called Montingia calibora or the Jamaican cherry or the strawberry tree. And this is a very fast growing tree, uh, produces an abundance of fruit for us throughout the summertime. Um, you can see it's starting to ripen, it's all along the ends here. The name of it, strawberry tree, actually comes from the fact that the flower actually looks like a strawberry. The fruit doesn't taste like a strawberry. The fruit appear along the stems in abundance throughout the summertime here in the Northeast. In the tropical regions, they flower pretty much year round. Um, they're small, round, red, cherry-like um, fruit. And um, as they ripen, they get redder and redder. And they actually get a little sweeter than this. These are sort of on the verge of ripening. The interesting thing is that they'll ripen in the morning, you'll come and pick some, and in the afternoon they'll be more ripe. So it's something that is almost always ripe fruit on it as we go through the uh, summertime. And they're um, quite sweet. So in terms of growing this, it's a very rapid growing tree. In um, tropical and subtropical areas where it's grown, it can grow 12, 15 feet a year and um, kind of forms a clump. And it's one of those plants that grow so fast that we didn't think we could actually grow it in containers. Tried it and found out that the containers actually restrict the growth quite a bit. This plant has been wintered over inside the greenhouses. It's about three years old from a young cutting. Uh, last spring we brought it out. It was about this height right here. And this is the growth that has been made uh, during the summertime. As um, it's September now and temperatures are cooling down, we're going to have to bring it back in. So we're going to have to do a pruning on it. So this plant is in a seven, maybe a 10 gallon pot. That would be probably about 14 to 16 inches across in terms of width. And it is actually quite cramped and we're going to leave it that way. Um, for the foreseeable future because there's plenty of room for it to take water up. It, as I mentioned, it was fed constantly throughout the summertime. That's what gave it its abundant growth. And that's one of the keys to growing this. They're quite heavy feeders during the um, summertime when they're in active growth and going into flowering. Reduction of feed obviously would slow the plant down, but it also reduces your crop. Um, there aren't too many insects that bother it in the greenhouses. We find that it's pretty much insect free. Root system is pretty strong. However, it can't really be held over in cold greenhouses or cold frames and such things. It really needs it warm to do well at this latitude where the light level is so low in the winter time. So we run it at a minimum of 60 degrees, could go a little lower than that. And we try to give it um, bright sunshine. In terms of pruning, I'm going to show you how to um, head this back right now. So unfortunately, as the season's ending, we could let this go on a little bit longer, but as the season's ending, we're going to want to move this in. So we're going to actually cut this, give this, this plant a very hard pruning right now. So there I have brought it back down to the size that it was um, when we moved it out. And now I've got to reduce the outside edges because this has got to go back into the greenhouses uh, where we're going to winter it over and it has to fit and that is always the great challenge to um, any of us northern gardeners how are we going to fit all the plants in that have grown so big so i took it down pretty far uh, make sure we dry it out in between waterings doesn't want to have wet feet on it and um, and we'll wait till next year thank you for watching today there's a little bit of information on how to grow montingia calibora or the jamaican cherry uh, if you'd like more information, go to our website at logis.com.